Hey friends, I hope you guys are doing well today. Today I am going to do a review and unboxing of my favorite brand, New Tool. So this is the Callista brand and the tool is called Faux Blow Thermal Brush. So some of the other Callista tools that I have used are these two things. This is the Callista Style Dryer Custom Blowout Pro, and it's basically a hot airbrush. And this is the Callista Perfector Pro, and I have to say, this is my favorite hair tool of all time. It's wonderful, and it's a quick styling tool. So that's why I really wanted to get this one, and I'll show you the difference. It looks like that and it actually styles your hair. It has to be dry, but it styles your hair kind of similar to this, but a little more soft curls. So let's unbox this thing. I have never tried it before. I have not even taken it out of the box. All right, so what is in the box? We've got, it looks like a heat glove, and it says Callista on that. And, oh, this is a nice size. So this is what it looks like. It's white and it has Callista there. It looks like there's a power button here and it looks like there's a little nozzle there maybe for the air to come out. I'm not even sure how this works. So let's open this bad boy up. I'm gonna plug it in. Ooh, it made a sound when I plugged it in. Okay, so I'm gonna take out some of this documentation so I can read some of it to you guys. It's the Faux Blow Thermal Brush. Okay, so I'm gonna read the directions just so that you guys understand. First of all, we're gonna look at the features of this brush. So the first thing they pointed out was it's got a cool tip so that if you need to put your finger on here, it's not hot at the end here. Then you've got the Faux Blow Teeth. They're, woo, and it's hot. The Faux Blow Teeth, are very short, it looks like, and it says dual rows of softly tipped teeth to create a no tangle experience. So I think you can use this on long hair or short hair. Then it's got the ionic and anti-static generator. That is a heated ceramic barrel, so that's the barrel, produces negative ions to help smooth hair, reduce frizz and static, and add luxurious shine. So a lot of the reviews I saw on this that people got super shiny hair from the uh, styling of this tool. And then of course, we already saw the power button, and the handle is heat resistant to allow for a cool to touch styling experience. And then they called out the power light, and there's also an indicator light. The indicator light is solid blue light that indicates the tool is on, so that tells us the tool is on. And then the ceramic heated barrel. So this emits far infrared heat that instantly penetrates hair cortex and distributes heat quickly and evenly, reducing styling time and risk of damage. And then you've got the faux blow bristles. Heat resistant and tangle free bristles allow for easy styling. So basically, you can only use this on dry hair. They may that very clear. You basically plug it into the wall outlet, hold the power button for one to five seconds until you hear the faux blow powering on. So I'm going to do this again. It makes that cute little sound. All right, so once you hear that double beep, the tool is completely heated and ready to use. So since I've had it plugged in a little bit, it double beeped real quick when I powered it back up. And it says, style hair. Keep reading to learn how to create looks. So I'm going to Go to the next page here. Now, it is very clear that their primary use case for this tool is people with long hair, but I wanna try it for short hair. Basically, they say to, oh, interesting. So you can get like kind of like really kind of spiral looking curls with this, but they're softer curls. I'm trying to see if they have a short hair area. They don't. All right, so we're gonna just have to figure this out. I wanna just do a quick brush. I'm not sure if we're gonna need this glove, but we'll just play it by ear and see if we do need it. All right, I'm one week later. I've got about almost an inch of growth. If you haven't been following me, I am growing out my brown. I am keeping my pixie cut, but I'm growing out my bleach blonde hair. And so every week that I get on here and record another video for you guys, you can see how it's progressing. So far, I don't feel like I need to do anything crazy, like buzz my hair off. I'm not gonna do that, but I'm gonna wait till it gets long enough so that I can cut all the blonde off at once. All right, I don't know any other way to start but just to dive in. All right, here goes. So I'm gonna do a quick part here. Take a clump of hair. And I'm just twirling it. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. So right off the bat, 
There's no air going through it, which I originally thought there was gonna be airflow. There's no airflow. I definitely wanna use this tip to help turn the hair. I'm gonna put the glove on. So you, if you use the glove, you can actually make sure your hair gets on there, especially with short hair. That is actually really pretty. It's a very loose, soft curl. So I'm gonna just let that sit there for a second. It is very hot though. That's why I see why this glove comes in handy. I imagine once you get good at it, just like the Perfector Pro, I bet you can do a really quick style this way. Kind of feeling like I want some bangs today. So are you guys excited that it's almost spring again? The weather is just absolutely gorgeous here. It's in the 70s, it's sunny, it's pretty. We are just really excited to kind of get back outdoors. Last weekend I took a really nice long walk at the lake. We live kind of by a lake and it was just gorgeous. I don't know if I've told you guys before, but a couple years ago we bought a kayak, like a two seat kayak. And we haven't done a lot of kayaking, but this summer, since we only live a quarter mile from the lake, we are gonna try to kayak a whole lot more than we did last year. We just kind of got stuck inside last year, I think from the whole COVID thing. But definitely this summer, I would love to get back into kayaking. And we're not like fanatics or anything. We just like going out on the lake and just being out on the water is super peaceful. So right off the bat, since I've been working on my hair with this, what I'm noticing is it really is helping with the volume. These are not tight curls. They're very, very loose curls, unlike the Perfector Pro, where those curls are a lot tighter. So I can totally see the draw for this tool. I think I like this tool. I'm interested in to see how it's gonna turn out after I put a little styling product on. All right, so let me show you how it's looking so far. Show you the sides, the back, the left side. I think I'm ready for some styling product. So today I'm going to use Bumble and Bumble Thickening Cream Contour. This is a cream product. Just to let you know, cream products allow you to have more flexible hair. It's not as styled, but I really like the Bumble and Bumble one. So I get about that much. Rub it all over my hands and just going to just try to make a style out of this. I really, really am liking how much volume it gave me. It's actually very cute. I mean, the volume on the right side is just incredible. And it's kind of like PC. And I, I know that the PC-ness is also from the cream contour, but it feels very good. All right, I think I'm about done. I'm gonna quickly hairspray this with some aquash. Definitely can tell my hair does look shinier than normal. It's not staticky. It's got good volume. I'm impressed. First impressions, I'm liking this. So let me show you the finished style. Not super curly, but very voluminous and kind of like that blowout look where it's got a lot of volume in the top. It's smooth, but there's a little bit of curl to make the style. So let me show you the right side. All right guys, well thanks for coming along with me, trying out this new product. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you and I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon.